I want to bring in uh, someone else into this discussion, Harry Johnson Sr. He is now leading the effort to build a Martin Luther King Jr. National Memorial in Washington. And Mr. Johnson, thank you for joining us here. I spoke with one of your colleagues, uh, Lisa Anders, uh, who's the senior project manager. And uh, there's very clearly a, a vision here for this monument that, that reflects Dr. King's philosophy in terms of what it looks and what it reflects. Can you describe for us what this is about? Yes, good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, the memorial to Dr. King is going to be a lasting memorial set among the other presidents and other icons of this country. And what a visitor will see when he or she walks through, the first piece would be the tantamount we call that the Mountain of Despair. Coming from Dr. King's speeches, they walk through the Mountain of Despair. Once on the other side of the mountain, in a crescent-shaped wall about 700 feet long, will be some of Dr. King's quotations. Now, you still have not seen Dr. King until you walked out towards Washington, to the Jefferson Memorial on the Tidal Basin, and there standing looking at Jefferson will be Dr. King pictured looking at Jefferson on another stone that looked like it was carved out of the mountain, and we call that the Stone of Hope. Uh, and that's where Dr. King will be standing, looking, talking about the promise of America. Now, this is a, a labor of love. It's also uh, really been it's a, a political headache as well. There's been a lot of financing. You have a lot of support for this project now. When do you think we are actually going to be able to see it? When is the public going to be able to see this and have this memorial open? Well, thank you. With the help of people such as John Lewis was there with you, thank you, Congressman and others, uh, we have raised $106 million, still need to raise $14 more million. However, the public will see this, we hope, uh, late summer 2011. Okay. And uh, we anticipate that uh, part of this memorial is about the dream that is unrealized, that is still moving forward, that there's still a lot of work to do. We appreciate you, uh, Mr. Johnson, for joining us, and obviously Congressman Lewis on this very significant day. Well, thank you very much. Delighted thank to you. Be we with appreciate you. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's a legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. It is something that we will reflect on throughout this historic day, and you can make sure to watch our CNN special, Eyewitness to Murder, the King Assassination. That is tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, right here on CNN.